Welcome. Today, we will create real-time OHLC data with Python WebSocket. This tutorial will show you how to connect to a WebSocket server using Python, get real-time data, convert it into OHLC, and log messages received on a file. For this tutorial, you will need Python installed on your development server, basic knowledge of Python, and the API key. Let's code. We'll start by installing the TraderMade package with a specific version 0.8.0. Next, we'll import the necessary modules. From TraderMade, Stream helps connect to TraderMade's WebSocket for streaming Forex data. JSON is used to parse the JSON data received. DateTime for timestamp manipulation and formatting. Default Dict creates a dictionary with a default value type, which is useful for storing OHLC data. Now we'll initialize the variables. OHLC data stores OHLC data for different currencies at different time intervals. The nested default dict ensures sets the default value for OHLC to zero when a new currency or time interval is encountered. Previous interval variable stores previous time interval for printing prior OHLC data. Count variable tracks the received price updates. Interval variable for calculating the OHLC data. Format is used for rounding and formatting the timestamp. Output file is the file where OHLC data is saved. Next, we'll define the utility functions. Round underscore timestamp function. This function rounds the given timestamp to the nearest minute based on the specified interval. It is advised to create shorter time frames and aggregate them when querying the files. Save to file function. This function appends the given data to the OHLC underscore output dot text file. The A mode ensures that the data is appended to the file and not overwritten. Update OHLC data function. This function updates the OHLC data for a given currency at a specific time interval. If the current interval is not in OHLC data, the OHLC data for that interval and currency is initialized. If the currency is not in the current interval's data, it initializes the OHLC data for that currency. Otherwise, it updates the high, low, and close values based on the received mid price. Process interval function. It checks if there is a previous interval, if the count is 1, and if the previous interval differs from the current interval. Then it iterates over the currencies and their respective OHLC data, formats the data, prints it, and saves it to file. After processing, it resets the count and deletes the previous interval. Process data function. It checks if the received data is not connected. It parses the JSON data to extract the timestamp, currency symbol, bid, and ask prices. It calculates the mid price as the average of the bid and ask prices. It updates the OHLC data using the update OHLC data function. It processes the interval using the process interval function. If the count is zero, it updates the previous interval and sets the count to one. If there is any error during the data processing, it prints an error message. Lastly, we'll set up and connect to the web socket. Stream.setWS key sets the WebSocket key to connects to Trader Maid's WebSocket. Replace the placeholder with your API key. Stream.setSymbols sets the symbols for the data that should be streamed. Here it is USDJPY, EURGBP. Stream.streamData starts streaming data and calls the process data function as a callback. Stream.connect starts streaming the data. Now to execute the command, we run python websocket ohlc.py. Live data is now streaming in, and ohlc is calculated. Hooray! Our output is saved in the file ohlc underscore output dot text. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.